Let's do a couple of other improvements of our list products block. So looking down here, we see that this section is using the, a button and it makes sense that we add this feature to our existing block and therefore avoid having the need to define another very similar block that would have a button. So let's go up into our block. So select the row and command V. We paste the button and then it, the rest is very simple. So we will define the block attribute saying the attribute ID would be button link and this will be a link and then another attribute will be button label where we will use we will uh, use it as a content and it also makes sense to to show the button only if uh, the link is set right but looking at the layout if we just hide the button this div with with its paddings will will still be there so what can we do so what we can do is we can select this element and we can actually define the block attribute button link on this element but we won't use it here so this will be none and if the value is not set we will remove the element and control type will be link so Finder usually like figures this out automatically based on what we want to use the attribute for but when we say none then it can't do that and we have to explicitly if we want a control uh, to specify what type of the control this is but we still need to use the button link on the button so here we'll, we'll leave it button link will be used as a link and because this um, attribute was already defined on the parent element so th this will not create a new a new attribute with the same id it will simply use the the attribute that was previously declared so let, let's test this let's reload the page in the editor and find a section where we will test the button maybe special offers so let's try select a link going to a page maybe just going to the shop and here it is here is our button update and let's test it and here it is going to the shop going home everything works very nicely and we can do one more thing with our block to make it even more powerful so let's select it the block and find our let me close this find the product loop show products and here we also have an option to search by product tags and product categories 
and there is this syntax either they can be comma separated or they can be separated by with plus sign to indicate that we are searching for product that has all the listed tags and comma will search only for product with um, any of the listed tags so we can again define attributes for that so let's say tags use none product tags and we, we can uh, use the help list tags okay I want to write everything now yeah you can do a better job it's the homework and then let's add another attribute let's call it cats categories non product categories and we could again uh, write the help message okay and now we go back to the show products and here in product x we will write block tags and in categories we will write block cats and let's export and go to the page and reload okay let's try it here best sellers product tags so I'm not sure which ones we have I think we have like best so here is best blue and if we say best plus blue then we just get one this, this one has both attributes both tags and if we remove it then we again get all attributes and here we can use categories caps and belts so we have caps and belts it's very handy so with this feature I, I guess our uh, list products block is it's complete and perfectly usable for our front shop front we can implement many different like sections like favorites top rated best sellers new arrivals on sale not on sale and so on and we can also use tags to select some like specific products so that you can maybe feature you, you we can have tag called featured and we add it to some products and then we'll use product tags featured to display them on the front page or anywhere else on our site blocks can be used in any content they can be even used in sidebars uh, in dynamic widget areas in the content of pages and posts so it's really really versatile so I, I really like this combination of um, pine grow that makes it easy to create custom Gutenberg, Gutenberg blocks and uh, with Wo in combination with WooCommerce that's a very powerful tool okay so I guess we are done with with the product list and what we will do now because some of you are already familiar with pine Grove wordpress builder and how to make blocks so we will now continue with um, woocommerce features and then at the end we will also do the rest of the blocks um, but let's skip it for now 
so that we can focus on WooCommerce um, specific features.